drive is finally back open tonight in both directions in North Natomas after a strong wind whipped grass fire created quite a mess this afternoon. As you can see, traffic, smoke. Now, this is just north of Arena Boulevard near Sleep Train, and high winds made things difficult for fire crews as they dealt with a number of spot fires. And here's another look of I 5 closed in both directions and I 80 for hours. Drivers with nowhere to go, but thankfully, no evacuations. Have been ordered. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sharon Merger. Let's get to CBS 13's Ryan Hill live in Natomas. Ryan, how's that traffic moving at this hour? Yeah, that's right. CHP is telling CBS 13 that I 5 just reopened about 15, 20 minutes ago. You can see everybody is out of that traffic nightmare. They are heading up north and south on I 5. But a Sacramento fire uh, spokesperson tells us that the, before the fire jumped over onto the highway, it started right here behind this Hilton Garden Inn in Natomas. I'm watching uh, the fire to make sure that it, we don't have to be evacuated. I-5 near Arena Boulevard in Natomas is typically filled with cars. But just after 1130 Sunday morning, flames and smoke began to pour over and out of the highway. People were quick to act to save their homes and themselves. It's like really close to us. It's really close and the wind is very strong, so we got to get moving really fast. And I feel they should let everybody know. We, we've already wet down our, our yard and um, we're just paying attention to whatever they say we'll do. A spokesperson with the fire department says I-5 in both directions were shut down. Some people helped out crews when it came to cars being detoured off the highway. A lot of people were trying to come down the street. The fire department has it blocked off and they can't do, they can't direct traffic and fight a fire at the same time. So we decided to come up here and see if we can help them out. Yeah, the spokesperson with the fire department says despite the decent wind that we're clearly still feeling right now, that that traffic also caused some issues with fighting this fire. He says that crews had to maneuver around people on the highway to try to Get to get, try to get around it so that they can try to contain that fire. So, Ryan, right now, one lane is still impacted by all this? Yes, we're being told by a CHP spokesperson that the lane closest to the median where the fire was happening on I-5 is closed for right now, but I am being told it should reopen in about 30 minutes or so, and then all lanes on I-5 north and southbound will officially be reopened. Yeah, pretty unsettling for that neighborhood and fire crews. Yeah, up against a lot of these spot fires because of these winds. We will continue to watch it closely. Ryan, thank you.